Please, I beg, stop wasting my damn time in 2022. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hey, whoo, child, it is finally the end of 2021. Oh, I'm so happy I made it. If you've been around for a while, you all know that I love to share my goals for the upcoming year with you all. And this year, because I'm about to bulk film a few videos, I wanted to make this a really casual get ready with me video. And I don't know how you all get ready, but when I get ready, I need the vibes to be right, okay? I need to be looking good, feeling good and smelling good. So those of you who are regulars here already know where this is headed. Shout out to Dossier for partnering with me on this portion of today's video. And not only does Dossier have me smelling rich and delicious, they also have my studio space smelling delicious with their new candles, honey. Now listen, I already know what you all are thinking looking at this tiny packaging because I thought it too. But let me put you on game real quick. Now we already know that Dossier is my go-to when I want a designer or niche experience at a fraction of the cost. Now Dossier also creates candles inspired by designer and niche fragrances as well. When you place your Dossier order, you get your candle in this little, little box and it says, love it first match. How cute. And because if nothing else, Dossier is consistent, you also get the same kind of branded index card with the fragrance, information about the fragrance from the notes, what fragrance is inspired by, as well as the concentration consistency okay we love to see it and of course included in the packaging you get your piece de resistance which is your candle and these candles are five ounces now listen i was definitely side eyeing this little baby candle you know what i'm saying because i'm used to other brands that include a little more surface area if you will but this candle in particular is the powdery hawthorne scent which is inspired by tom ford's metallic fragrance and these candles as small as they are do claim to give up to 25 hours of burning time we gonna see as you can see i have already started burning this candle and i'm definitely about to start burning it again while i'm filming just to kind of set the vibe and it smells delicious okay and i have to be honest with you all when i did burn this previously i actually burned it in a larger room in my house and it didn't really give what it was supposed to have gave but in my studio space which is a small to medium sized room the performance is chef's kiss of course i'm gonna have to continue using this candle over time to truly speak to its performance but first impressions specifically for this powdery hawthorne scent this is better suited for a smaller more intimate space so it's the holiday season and if you or someone you know is interested in trying out dossier make sure you check out the link as well as the coupon code down below in the description box and thanks so 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 much to dossier again for sponsoring this portion of today's video now if you would like to get ready with me and know some of my goals going into the new year make sure you keep Keep watching Is this thing on so i am about to film some videos and it has become a tradition for me to share some of my upcoming goals for the year with you all and that's what we're going to be doing today of course per usual i will have every single product that i use on my face today linked down below in the description box in case you're interested so those of you who follow me on instagram already know this but if you don't follow me on instagram now's your chance i just had a birthday and you know I feel like in the last couple of weeks, some things have just been put into perspective. And I feel like the older that I get, my priorities and my patience just kind of shift. But this year, I really, really, really need to get on my health and wellness game. I am just accepting the fact that I am not getting any younger and I can't bounce back like I did 10, 15 years ago. So one of my main goals for 2022 is to just take care of me, just to be better to myself, not just with what I put in my body, what I put on my body. Bottom line is I just want to look good and feel good. So that is just going to be a priority for me in the upcoming year. I sat in this house for the last like two years because of course of the pandemic. But also I just kind of lost my zeal and my zest to go out and explore, to travel, to try new things. Like I just, I just haven't had that for the last like year or two. So regardless of the state of the world, Alexis is going to take care of Alexis in 2022. And that's on period. This next goal of mine kind of piggybacks on that sentiment. And that is to stop feeling bad for taking breaks. Now, most of the time you all don't even notice or care when I take a break. I feel like I have been pretty transparent with you all about how social media and especially YouTube can be a labor of love because 
of how daunting and tedious it can be. And a lot of times taking a break can just be a hindrance to your reach and your engagement when it comes to social media. And I feel like every year since I've been doing YouTube and every year when I tell you all my goals for the upcoming year, I'm mentioning not being a slave to analytics. But I have to be realistic in saying that analytics definitely do matter. So while I'm still planning to work towards building my platform and my reach and whatever this Tresses of Alexis brand is, I have to listen to my body I have to listen to my mind and sometimes for the sake of my peace of mind I'm gonna have to disappear and while taking a break can be a hindrance to my analytics and to my engagement and all of that like nobody's gonna die it's gonna be okay <laughs> like that's just the ebbs and flows of being on social media. It's really not going to be the end of the world for me or the end of my social media career if I take a break. So in 2022, we're not going to get burned out because if I need a break, <laughs> I'm gonna take it. Also in 2022, I want to continue building a community and forging a relationship with my viewers. So to do that, I plan to go live a bit more often. I do not go live very often at all and I need to work on that because truly, that's when you all get to see the raw unedited version of me and those of you who are on live regularly with me know that a lot of times there's no telling what will come out of my mouth <laughs> whereas in a video i've edited that so if i say something crazy i'm gonna cut it out so that gives you all a little bit of insight as to why i often take my live streams down because who knows what will come up and who knows what the hell I'll say. So, if you do not have on your post notifications, get to getting, okay? Get to getting because the live stream really be where it's at. This next goal that I have is to continue creating content that I enjoy. Be it skincare, be it vlogging, be it fragrance video. If that is something that I wanna create, I'm gonna do it. I just have to stop being afraid of you all not engaging on my content because it's not a hair video. So basically, if I don't feel like filming a wash day, especially a shower wash day, I'm not gonna film it. Like, <laughs> I'm just not, I'm not gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? I love the community that I've built here and I'm never going to neglect it. But if I don't feel like filming a hair video, I'm not gonna do it. Like, I just can't, <laughs> can't be bothered sometimes. Creating hair content takes a lot of time and a lot of energy. And sometimes I'm just not up for that challenge, baby. So if I don't have a hair video from one week to the next, y'all are gonna be okay. And so will my platform. And that is just a hill that I am willing to die on in 2022, okay? And the next goal that I have written down kind of related to that is to adjust accordingly. As I said earlier, I'm not gonna sit here in front and act like analytics and engagement doesn't matter because it definitely does. It definitely factors in to the type of content that creators make. But the fact of the matter is the reason that my content that's not natural hair struggles is because of me. It is my fault that I limited my audience to natural hair. That's on me. And so now I have to adjust accordingly because now that I wanna branch out, the analytics just aren't going to be on my side, at least not initially. And that's just, that's just a part of the game. That's just a part of the ebbs and flows of being on social media. And that being said, be it natural hair content or otherwise, I'm still gonna post what I wanna post and go. And at this point, if y'all watch it, you watch it. And if you don't, I'm gonna be all right. Also in 2022, I have to stop taking my hair so seriously. Hair is an accessory. Hair is how I express myself. And if I wanna straighten it, if I wanna braid it, if I wanna color it, if I wanna cut it off, I'm gonna do it. I've actually already kind of started doing that, but we'll get into that in another video. You all probably wouldn't believe how many creators, specifically natural hair creators, will not make changes to their hair 
just because they know they won't get views. Let's be real here. Once people color their hair, they have damaged hair, or they cut their hair, y'all ain't really checking for them. And True Tea, neither are the brands. And a lot of these creators will have hair that they don't like, don't enjoy, aren't fulfilled with, don't want to be bothered with, just to play to brands for potential sponsorships and to you all as their viewers. I've been in this natural hair game for quite some time. And at this juncture, we've seen one too many natural hair creator completely destroy their hair for you all as viewers and for brands only to eventually big chop and then that's the last natural hair video of theirs that you all will support ever again it's a harsh but ugly truth but a truth nonetheless and it just further reiterates for me that if i cut color braid straighten or anything else to my hair everything's going to be fine <laughs> This next goal is definitely from last year and it's carrying on into next year. And those of you who watched my goals last year probably already know what's coming. No more free marketing people. In 2022, if we are sliding into a creator's inbox, be it via Instagram, TikTok, or email, respectfully, we need to have some sort of a budget. Almost everyone that I follow at least has some sort of PO box or mailing address listed in their description box or in their bios. So if you want the potential reach of that creator, go ahead and send them a PR package. But if the creator has to do some type of research or studying and hitting talking points, there needs to be some type of formal agreement in place with an exchange of currency. I know that oftentimes, especially because our videos are edited down, it doesn't look like it's a lot but creating content is a whole lot and it takes a whole lot of time, energy, resources, electricity, like these lights, these backdrops, the computer, the editing software on the computer, the camera, the memory cards, cords and cables, all of that costs money, folks. And let's just be real here. Brands are reaching out to creators, be it nano, micro, or larger influencers because influencers make them money. So in 2021 and going into 2022, there has to be some type of exchange going on. There has to be some commission. There has to be some compensation because this, this right here, this is work and we deserve to be paid. My last goal going into 2022 is to document my memories more. I take pictures, but definitely not as much as I should. And in 2022, it is definitely a goal of mine to take more pictures, to post more pictures. Memories are great, right? But it's nothing like going through your archives and seeing a photo and remembering exactly how you felt in that moment. And I realized recently that in 2021, I didn't take a lot of photos to remember the experiences that I had. So in 2022, I just wanna document my memories more. Not only do I want to take photos more, I also want to print those photos out and create photos albums and maybe that's due to my old age honestly I just want to make more memories and make more money hello somebody but no you all sound off below and let me know your thoughts and let me know some of your goals going into the new year I just want to say that I definitely don't want this video to come off as some type of toxic positivity I know that for a number of you and especially for me there's been a lot of struggle and there's been a lot of loss but for me in 2022 regardless of the state of the outside world I'm going to live it up safely and I'm going to get what's mine and if you feel up to it, I encourage you to do the same. And if you don't, I promise you, that is okay. Finally, that about wraps up today's video. Make sure you drop down in the comments and let me know your thoughts. On your way to watching another video of mine, please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all so, 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 so much for watching. Please, please be safe. Happy New Year, and I'll catch you in the next one.